YouTube to start tutorials and I'm back with another tutorial this time I'm starting a series on um, how to create really professional um, textures and today I'll show you guys how to create this texture which is a metal grunge sort of uh, look and it's on a text obviously um, I'm hoping that it's not too dark for you guys to see um, I can see it well but yeah I was quite amazed myself how good it turned out so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create today um, first of all you wanna download a really good texture a really large texture it has to be like 4000 by 3000 pixels or something like that uh, anything smaller than that will not look uh, that great in Cinema 4D and I've actually downloaded a really good texture which I used on that text and um, I uploaded uh, uploaded it on my DeviantArt account and if you guys go to the link in the description of this video you can download it you can go to this link right here it will take you to this page and um, just click on download image beside the uh, this image so don't right click and click on save as because it's gonna give you a really small image instead just click on download image right here um, and when you once you click download image it will take you to this page where you can uh, where you can right click and click on save as and you know go to desktop and save I'm not gonna do it because I have it already so yeah again don't right click right on the image preview and click on save as or else you'll get a too small of an image alright um, now I'm gonna exit out of that once you've downloaded your Im uh, the texture so right here uh, you're gonna have it on desktop so um, open up Cinema 4D okay and grab this texture and just drag it into Cinema 4D uh, material uh, sort of bar right here and click on no you don't really need it okay and uh, double click on the material this is where we can start creating the material okay and uh, first thing you wanna do uh, I'm kinda of doing this off my head so yeah forgive me uh, so first thing you wanna do is uh, check off diffusion and then go to texture in diffusion so click on this little uh, arrow and uh, go to bitmaps and click on uh, whatever scratched metal texture or whatever texture you have okay so now you have the same texture in diffusion okay uh, and then check off effect luminance and check off effect reflection okay now you go you wanna go to bump alright uh, here uh, click on the down arrow or not the down arrow the little arrow and again select bitmaps alright and increase the strength to 70 70 80 around there that's pretty good okay now click on the little image preview right here and it's gonna bring you to this uh, menu sort of okay and here you want to increase the exposure a little bit uh, to maybe 0.7 and then uh, just let me play around with this I'm gonna see what I did last time um, okay how about that? how about this okay so what you wanna do is you want to invert the image uh, you wanna invert the black and whites of the image okay so you wanna put the black to uh, 1.09 and it's very important decimals in this uh, right here is very important because otherwise it will look way different okay so uh, 1.09 and white point let's see let's pass for it uh, let's put it to um, point 0 0.4 so 0.4 okay and the exposure to 0.7 I'm just gonna qu quickly da um, double check in the last material that I made if that's exactly what I have 
okay uh, I have black point 0 0.96 and white point 0 0.35 so that's actually what you want to do you want to set it to 0 0.35 and black point to 0 0.96 and then exposure to 0.84 okay I'm gonna close out of this right now close and I'm gonna go back to my <coughs> texture that I just created and yeah I'm gonna increase the uh, exposure to 0 0.84 and then black decrease that to uh, 0 0.93 I think it was 0 0.94 whatever something like that and white 0.35 that's what it was okay now we're good with the bump okay uh, now check off reflection uh, then go to texture and uh, click on Fresnel okay and then click on the little image preview which shows the great gradient texture okay and then double click on the white uh, key right here and decrease the uh, increase the color or make it more gray less uh, bright and then go to the black one double click on it and then increase the brightness of it so make it like uh, dark gray instead of just black okay uh, now let's decrease the brightness of the reflection the regular reflection to uh, maybe 30 percent and then mix strength right here in the Fresnel reflection decrease that to 50 percent okay and now go to specular and uh, change the mode to metal and then increase the width of it to about 100 and increase the height of it to maybe 50 percent okay and now let's create a, um, a text so go to MoGraph up here go to MoText and then uh, you can just change the font if you want I increase you know you can customize the text increase the depth of it uh, let's just put the line to middle that's what I like to work with and go to caps fillet cap fillet cap on the end radius put it down to 3 and again and radius to 3 okay so now we have a more or less decent text now we can drag this material onto the text okay so now we've added the material onto the text in the objects menu right here uh, click on the texture tag right be uh, right beside the text the texture tag that you have uh, just put onto the text so when you click on it this uh, window should pop up right here and uh, here you can select the projection so change the projection to cubic that's the best to work with um, and uh, check off seamless okay so very important change the projection to cubic and check off seamless so it's so there's a check mark there okay uh, now let's add a light a source of light so uh, go to the objects menu right here and select the plane okay or you can just use some kind of a soft box if you have uh, created one or you downloaded one okay so once you have this plane here just kind of position it up here double click on the materials tag um, or, or on the materials tab rather double click on the new material check off luminance and then drag this material onto the uh, onto the plane okay and kind of drag it closer to the text maybe and maybe rotate it a little bit so the light uh, shines on the front of the text okay and uh, go to uh, edit render settings it and it's this button right here the third one to the right and go to effect and then select ambient occlusion then global illumination in global illumination uh, go to Irden sketch and then stochastic samples to low and then record density to low you don't need those settings there uh, they don't do anything okay and now you can click on uh, render preview right here 
and see what you have created so as you can see it looks pretty cool um, it doesn't look as good as the other texture that I have uh, because I had a better lighting in that texture but it still looks really good um, so yeah that's that's pretty much it guys uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I hope it was helpful to you guys if you liked it please like the video and see you guys later